What are some of the key trends that you see in the enterprise when they're developing their own apps or maybe exposing APIs uh, in the back end? I think it's trying to make it work for the people who are using the apps. And part of the complexity right now comes with the actual workflows. How do you define those workflows? How do you enable those for, for people in the, in the workplace? There's been a struggle with, I think, some of like the fundamental issues such as security. Certainly security is, is a big, big deal in the enterprise. I, I think when you're developing solutions to work you know, across multiple environments, um, you know, getting them securely working and functioning is a huge consideration for us. You certainly have to conquer the password problem, you know, you know, credentials for the device, credentials for the application, access to the data, and yep. so balancing security and usability for your users and their expectations are increasing, right? They're asking us to deliver solutions that are much, much more usable than what we traditionally have gone away with before. <laughs> we are starting to see the abstraction of passwords behind management platforms. And that seems to be slowly taking, you know, slowly starting to become a reality, but it's going to take some time. Google actually said, their, their chief security person at Google said at our conference this week that at Google, passwords are dead. Mm -hmm. And I think when a company like Google says that, mm -hmm. you know, it means something for the rest of the market. But it's an issue also, I think, you know, not just with the users, but with the developers, too. Speaking of developers, I have a question for Ganesh. So you're responsible for creating tools for developers, and I'm wondering what some of the things Intel are doing to support app and API development in the enterprise. We develop tools on the client side to be able to create HTML5 and consume services that you create on the server side. Intel um, has invested um, in software services that uh, create APIs, make it easy to for easy for developers to access these APIs and then in a uh, potentially secure way. And on the client side, again, what we're focusing on is making sure that we not only handle specifications, but we uh, are getting user stories to see how we can include guidelines as part of development. So mm -hmm. some of the security items that came about here are having to do with how developers create software. We want tools that provide um, security from the time the code starts getting developed and not necessarily something that you uh, put in after everything is put together. Yeah, secure right from the start. Yes. The landscape's changed. You know, it used to be that we would run an application in our own IT data center sure. and that we could have control over the, mach the machine that it ran on, the servers that it run on. And so, you know, making sure the application is, you know, secure from the time you launch it and post production and maintains, you know, security feature sets after you've already developed a release becomes extremely important when mm -hmm. you part start deploying your solutions across multiple platforms and into the cloud and taking advantage of a lot of the things that are happening, you know, elsewhere in the industry.